Hi there, my name is Cronenberg and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of Nine at the Dark Side, a uh, hidden pi picture um, objects kind of game. Uh, I don't know when it came out because I used to have the disc and somebody's borrowed it off me. Um, <laughs> it's uh, not available on Steam, at least I can't find it. So um, I'm kind of going off what it states on Big Fish Gaming because that's where it's uh, published from. Um, it's currently, or it was for £7.70, but that seems to be crossed out now with the $2.99 um, icon next to it, which is the most bizarre thing. Um, and it's for Windows XP all the way up to 8, and I played it on 10 and it was fine. End of centuries old war between the Guardians and the Clan of the Nine in Nine the Dark Side. Are you the last descendant of whom the legend foretells? The one who will stop the darkness that haunts Prague? Find out in this incredible hidden object puzzle adventure game. Take on dark enemies and solve perplexing puzzles as you explore the gorgeous city of Prague. Fulfill your destiny in Nine the Dark Side. Um, so I have played the full game. Uh, I, I did enjoy it. I thought it was very good the way it was done. There's not as many puzzles, but I would say there's probably more... No, actually, there's quite a lot of puzzles, actually, I was thinking. Um... There are hidden picture, ob hidden object games uh, in there. You know, if you don't know what a hidden object part of a game is, just imagine a, looking at your own house or something inside, and then having some sort of um, a list and trying to find whatever it is, like a candlestick or a, um, an airplane or something or something like that. And you click on them, and then they appear. And one of them usually is something that you need for that thing, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, so yeah, I've, I've played the full game, and there are, there are um, at the very beginning there's like a tutorial that kind of helps you get into it, so you can understand how to play the game and how to progress, which is useful. Although I still got stuck at various points. There is a hint option, uh, which helps you, uh, but it's always tried to best, or try to be best at not actually using it, because I think that's it spoils the game sometimes. But it's there if you ever need it, uh, which I think is good. Not always on the um, hidden picture part. I tend to use it on the... Um, well, I do use it on hidden picture. Sometimes you just can't see anything. You know, you're looking for something. It's like, what, what's this? I don't know what it is. And then suddenly you click and it's like, well, what the hell is that? That's not it. But apparently it is. Um, the story is good. It, it's quite a long game. I can't remember exactly how long it is. But it, it's quite a longish game. And there, there is a good story. And there are nine... You got to solve nine uh, descendants, as it were, nine guardians or whatever they are, um, floating around, uh, ghosts and stuff. Um, you have to solve various puzzles, but not just by going there and solving a puzzle and hey ho, you've done it, and you move on to the next. It might be you have to pick something up, or you know, you still got a, like a little chest of stuff that you keep in your pocket, and then you can go off and say, well, I've got this now. This can go here, and that can go there, and. Um, the, the graphics are good, as they always seem to be with these kind of hidden picture games. Um, I kind of like that sort of stuff. I like... Um, you, you don't move around as such, you just click to go forward and back. So you, you don't move, you just... It's like pick, you know, arrows and you click here and you move forward. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good, good story. I mean, I... There was a lot of puzzles I got cons <laughs> I got stuck on, um, which is bizarre, but I did, and there you go. Uh, but I persevered and I got through them all. Um, so if if you like hidden picture kind of games, you like stories, obviously, and um, you want to play something that's got a bit more involved than just the basic hidden objects and just the basic puzzle game, then you might like this because it's a bit of both. Um, you know, it's it's really good, especially when you like you don't know where you're going. It says, well, you click hint and says, I've seen uh, a chest that might have this, or have you looked in the graveyard or something? You think graveyard? I've been there. Well, there was nothing there. So you go back and then you find whatever it is. It doesn't tell you what it is. Oh, by the way, in the graveyard by this stone, you got to look at this blob. It doesn't tell you that. It just gives you a little hint, which is what it should be—a hint. <clears throat> Anyway, 
Um, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this little game review of Nine the Dark Side. I've got the full playlist in my channel if you want to watch it. Give me the old thumbs up if you liked this video. Comments in the comments box below if you played this game. I know there's plenty of them. Um, of the hidden object against some um, big fish. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, there you go. Okay, thank you and goodbye.